Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this shape as you can see in this figure whose dimensions are 24, 110, 40, 60, 50, and 120. And now we are going to calculate the volume of this shape. So before we proceed, let me make it very clear that this shape may not be 100% true to the scale. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. So let's focus on this green region first. And here in this next step, I have divided this green region into two rectangles as you can see in this figure and now we are going to calculate the area of these two green rectangle let me go ahead and call this area of this uh, green rectangle a1 for this one and the area for this one i'm going to call a2 and now we can see that this side length is 40 so this has got to be 40 as well and now let's go ahead and calculate the areas a1 and a2 for these two green rectangles and here's the area of a rectangle formula area is always equal to length time width so let's go ahead and calculate the area a1 first for this rectangle so the area is going to be our side lengths are 40 and 60 and if we multiply them our a1 area is going to be 2400 square units and now let's go ahead and calculate the area a2 so a2 is going to be once again our dimensions are 50 and then times 100 and 20 if we multiply them we are going to get 6000 square units and now we are going to calculate the total area of this green region so the total area is going to be a1 plus a2 the individual areas so the total area a is going to be a1 in our case is 2400 and then plus 6,000. So that means our total area A turns out to be 8,400 square units. So thus our total area of this green region turns out to be 8,400 square units. And now let's go ahead and calculate the volume of this given shape. And here's the volume formula. Volume equals to area times the depth. In our case, the depth of this shape is 24. So therefore, the volume of this given shape is going to become V equals to area in our case is 8400 times 24. So thus the volume turns out to be, if we multiply these numbers, that's going to give us 201,600 cubic units. So thus the volume of this given shape turns out to be 201,600 cubic units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.